<laughs> Talking of irony, um, I just got to mention that I, that I noticed that and Andrew Jack is thinking of leaving YouTube. Um, oh, um, a, few, a, few, a few people had made comments, and the most ironic comment I've seen was from Matt Bell, yeah. who said to Andrew, "Good riddance. The Christian community is better served without you here shaming it." Oh man! My irony is as ironic as our irony ometer nearly blew up. I think it's just disgusting what he said to, to, to Andy, and he shouldn't have said it. Um, but Matthew Bell, if you remember. Um, G, the the Andy's hangout that G Man attempted to scupper, Matthew mm. Bell also came in later and tried to scupper it as, as well. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Doom, well, they've got to be very very careful. Uh, but people like Alex Button and the Jim Gardners and Fiona Robertson, because she hangs around with these kind of people, and the. Mm. Um, and people like that, that that group, there's a group of them that hang around together. They they, I'm not going to say what, but they 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 get onto they get up to underhanded tactics. So you bet personally, I won't want you to mess with them because you've seen what they did to me. I mean they they these guys for the last six months they these guys have made my life hell. You type in Jason Burns, and it's all their videos. And you they, the, these people. I dealt with Alex Bot. I, I dealt with Alex Bot. Alex Bot is a joke. I didn't think about no, him. Alex Bot. I mean, he tried to make me look bad on Fundamentally Floor twice. Uh, the first time he was a little successful. The second. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. He's always loved Ozzy's wife, but she stabbed hmm. him in the back. But he, he's loved her all this time, but he just can't remember her name. <laughs> oh, Alana. That's surprising. Yeah. Yeah. I have heard. I've heard from from a number of people who call themselves Christians, I mean the, the evangelical radicals, that they will say, "Oh, there's there's no speaking of themselves." They will say, "There's just no support for Christians. Christians got to stick together." You know, those atheists are always trying to push us off YouTube, and the atheists are always trying to silence us, and that sort of thing. And you know what? The, the, their words are correct. I, I for the the Christians that I know on YouTube, there is very little support for them, very little sort of kinship. Um, but the people who complain about it are not the Christians. They are the radical evangelical nutters, right? And they hang fine together, right? I mean, you look at, you know, Arcane and, and G-Man and True Empiricism and Jason Burns. Those guys will be fast friends because they don't care about anything in their conduct or their behavior or their personality as long as they share the same fantasy belief about, you know, the inerrancy of the Bible and and, 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 and uh, their own victimhood, you know, the, the John chapter 15 Late in their age. Um, yeah. As long as they believe that they're being persecuted, they're going to be friends. But but the, like I say they're not the, the the Christians who are left isolated. They're the radical evangelical nutters who hang together. And I'll tell you, at the end of the day, and I shouldn't speak for Christians when I say this, but the Christians who feel like that they're not being yes, you can. I will. Uh, uh, yeah, the Christians who feel like they're being pressured off YouTube. It's not by by non-believers. It's by the radical evangelical nutters who say you're bad for, for our cause because... Oh, oh, I, I can't believe it. Fiona, you always feel welcome when you're in a room with G-Man and Arcane and Ronnie. And yeah. <laughs> they love you, fellow Christian and, and you know, a sister. Oh. I, I actually I think that all, before all these videos get made about me again, I wasn't arguing with Arcane to um, disagree with him about God or the nature of God or anything else. The only thing, the oh, only man. point I was making was that this assertion that morality is objective, I don't agree with. I think it is subjective through and through. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Doom. I thought I, 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 thought I wasn't dangerous. I thought I wasn't stupid. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I thought I was all these things, yet you guys found that necessary to flag me down. You know what? You know what's funny about that though. Um, I seen G Man actually give uh, uh, Alex Martin a run for his money. He not just give him a run for his money. He smashed him when it came to this issue of uh, of uh, the uh, as to whether or not he was his own god. god. Yeah, I got, I got that beard <laughs> on my channel actually. And the funny part about it is how condescending and obnoxious. Um, Alex Botton is to G Man. Okay, if you if you're gonna sit over here and say that G Man's stupid, if you're gonna sit over here and say that G Man's a moron and he's dumb and all this other stuff, 
fine. But then what level does that put you on? That puts you underneath him, now doesn't it? <laughs> so that's like, <laughs> it's funny because he, he needs to start watching his mouth because it's the same thing with J.D. Kane. It's the same thing with these other atheists. They end up eating their words. You know, they can't, they can't, they can't make that stuff stick. It always ends up backfiring on them somehow, some way. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, see you next time. Or well. <laughs> uh, irony ometer and blew up.